Yanto would like to extend his apology for a meeting that was suddenly called by Department of Agriculture for the Agriculture uh, Guarantee Fund Board. And he's a member of that board. So if that meeting doesn't convene, millions of farmers may not have credit. So, well, and the point is it's an also an equally important meeting. So on his behalf, may I read the following opening remarks. Japan Economic Forum Chairman, Mr. Kazumasa Kusaka, Socioeconomic Planning Secretary, Dr. Ernesto Pernia, DFA Assistant Secretary, Helen de la Vega. To all of our distinguished guests, experts from different parts of Asia, members of the academe, government, civil society, and media, good afternoon to all of you and welcome to the Asia Pacific Forum on Integration and Inclusiveness in a Digital Society, co-organized by the Japan Economic Foundation and the Philippine Institute for Development Studies. The Asia Pacific Forum is an annual event which engages experts, officials, and ex-officials in a dialogue on trade, regional and economic integration, and growth strategies in the Asia Pacific. This year's topic on integration and inclusiveness in a digital society is very timely and relevant considering that the world today is being transformed by new technologies, digital innovations that have great potential to improve quality of life, open opportunities to increase growth, and unlock broader societal benefits. For example, in the health sector, digital technology can help promote healthier lifestyles, create healthier environments, optimize detection, diagnosis and treatment of disease and well-being of patients, and advance the quality and efficiency of care. Digital technology also disrupts markets for products, services, and jobs. An example of this is the, the intensive use of data and 3D printing in the manufacturing industry, which could enhance both value and production chains and bring us closer to a more solid economy. The use of automation, robotics, and artificial intelligence can also improve major industries, including those in the field of logistics, retail, and white-collar professions. G digitization can also reduce social exclusion and advance social cohesion and create productive mixtures of national, cultural, and religious identities. We've also seen how digital technology played a significant role in building infrastructure as a result of urbanization, population growth, mobility, effects of climate change, and transition to greater sustainability. Through the aid of digital technology, smart cities can optimize urban planning and transport. Utility and community services such as waste collection and uh, law enforcement can be improved. In agriculture, Smart use of big data from sensors and uh, remote sensing can increase productivity, food security, and farmer incomes at the same time. These are just some of the significant advantages of digital innovation to the society at large. Today, we will know more about how we can maximize these benefits and understand the challenges that come with it. These include factors such as the pace of changing customer expectations, cultural transformation, and outdated and conflicting regulation. So the case of the ride sharing services is uppermost in a lot of people's minds. So these are just a few of these uh, uh, issues that uh, other, other concerns that need to be updated, uh, not just the digital technologies. We are also confronted with the rising populism, and I think, believe this will be taken up in the very first session of this uh, forum, because of the popularity of world leaders, most prominently Donald Trump. How do other countries deal with this, and what role does technology play here? In the age of social media, wherein thoughts, beliefs, and sentiments, especially those that trigger adverse reactions, can be passed on quickly. So that's what digital technology also enables. Especially through uh, social media, how do we make sure that our people are safe from violence and protected from abuse of human rights? These challenges need to be addressed by all stakeholders to unlock the substantial benefits digital technology offers society and industry. Innovation 
is an equally important topic in this digital age as it goes hand in hand with technology. We need to know how to maximize it to make sure that less developed countries are not left behind. In 2016, let me highlight a PIDS study. It found that for innovation of firms, that such activity does result to an increase in sales, profit, and productivity. But then, another PIDS study conducted this year, 2017, showed that less than half are able to take of the firms are able to take advantage of innovation uh, and realize these benefits. So aside from stoking the engine of innovation, another challenge is to make whatever technologies are out there more inclusive, especially now that ASEAN integration is ongoing and a number of countries in Southeast Asian region are all developing countries in various stages of uh, development. How do we make sure that technological advancements do not result to more income inequality in the region? We also have to take into consideration, and it was also already mentioned in the earlier work and remarks, about rising protectionism in the West. How should ASEAN take advantage of that by capitalizing on technology? How can it advance the goals of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP? These are some of the concerns we should look at as ASEAN moves on to the next 50 years. I'm sure there will be a lot more to unpack as we go along, but I do hope that this symposium will serve as a venue for all stakeholders to discuss and recommend solutions to these challenges and share their experience to improve the best practices in these areas. Let us remember that while we have seen significant advances because of technology, it can also result to problems that cause greater divides between rich and poor, developed and developing countries. The challenge for us is to make sure that those who are really in need benefit the most from these developments. Collaborative action is required to bend the curve, as it were, of digital transformation towards a more prosperous tomorrow. I'm confident that you will learn a lot of insights today as we move towards an even more exciting future in the digital world. I also hope for your very active participation in our open forum. Have a good day.